Today, time to build sandcastles. Hello again, it's Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics, one of the latest post covering property and finance news with a distinctively Australian flavour. More data out today to highlight that the construction sector is indeed in a cyclical downturn, led by the housing sector, where conditions have swung from boom to bust. The ABS released their preliminary third quarter construction work done data today, and it confirms the slowing rate that we saw earlier in the year. They reported declines overall for a fifth consecutive quarter, although actually the quarter three fall was a little more modest than anticipated, down 0.4%, compared with forecasts of around a fall of 1%. And this slightly better result was thanks to a significant rise in public works, which of course are government-led. But the private sector took a bath with the 0.4% fall in construction activity, meaning that it's a significant 7% lower compared with a year ago. And the rebound in public works largely offset a drop in the private construction sector activity. In more detail, public works rose 5.4% after four quarters of decline, but private construction was down 2.1%, and within that new home building was down 3.4%, to be 11.6% below the peak of mid-2018. Renovations were down 0.2%. And of course, the housing downturn still has further to go, and it will continue to weigh in conditions into 2020 and beyond. Private infrastructure was down 4.6%, and this was significantly weaker than expected, although the outlook may lift ahead because we know that there have been more commencements recently. For example, some iron ore projects have proceeded in response to the recent elevated prices and the work pipeline has increased somewhat, pointing to an emerging lift in activity during the year ahead, possibly. Commercial building rose 4.1%. And back to those public works, which returned to positive territory, increasing by 5.4% in the quarter. But set in that in context, that follows falls over the past year and down 13.4% overall, thanks to a weak investment project pipeline. Governments are likely to commit to additional projects, and we saw that recently when Scott Morrison announced several new road upgrades across the country. And this will support growth at the margins, but will not offset the fall in the private sector that we've discussed. So expect more construction sector unemployment ahead. But the most striking presentation of the data came from Comsec which showed that home building had fallen hard, with the residential work done in real terms on an annual percentage rate now down to an 18-year low. And this is a 20% swing from peak to trough between 2016 and 2019. Economic recession, anyone? I reckon we need to go and build some more sandcastles. I'm Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. Many thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.